Now joining us now is Negar Mortavazzi. Uh, she's a journalist and analyst working for The Independent. Thanks very much for your time there, Thanks Negar. Me. Now, uh, what's your take on this report that we're seeing by Voices? Well, I have seen um, the general reporting that this um, type of order for a crackdown has to come from the highest echelons of power within the Islamic Republic, obviously, is the pattern that we've seen from the past. Uh, it seems like different factions within the governing system, the state, were all involved in uh, various parts of the crackdown. When it comes to the death toll, uh, this is just something that only Reuters has reported. There's no byline on the uh, report as far as knowing who reported this. And uh, the sources from inside the country are also unnamed, but it's mentioned that they're uh, Iranian officials. And we've seen Iranian officials really giving out different um, numbers in the past few weeks or rejecting certain numbers. So I've seen uh, reporters, I've seen analysts from the New York Times, from the Financial Times, someone stationed inside around people outside and analysts really questioning how Reuters arrived at this specific number of 1,500. But in any case, um, there have been human rights organizations who have reported, Amnesty reported that at least 300 people um, they can confirm that we're dead and also some... Uh, the United States also reported over a thousand deaths. State Department mm -hmm. did, but they also didn't really provide any kind of source for that. So it's uh, basically right now we're left with the State Department and this report from Reuters. Uh, Is it really hard to believe though, given the way Iran dealt with protesters back in November and of course Iran's human rights record? It's not. I have to. I wanted to add that amnesty when reporting. Obviously, they're being conservative because they want credible, confirmed reports, and they keep saying at least 200 dead, at least 300 dead. The sources inside the country, a website like Karameh, who's uh, close to the opposition, have confirmed at least over 450 dead. So, but if, it's not if unlikely, Tehran isn't giving sure. an official number, mm -hmm. that's what that's exactly the problem. There's no credible source in the country. But, but nor can, can Tehran be trusted in that sense either. If Tehran's not actually reporting it, if there's a media blockout exactly. during the whole protest, exactly, and that's why you end up with all these different numbers. Uh, but but I'm wouldn't go out and just report these numbers on their own. They would probably no, no, talk definitely to not. Definitely and not. Find I'm not. I'm not 100 mm -hmm. percent de denying or approving it. I'm just saying there has been questions coming, especially because they're uh, citing okay. officials for for these numbers. Right. It's not a number they arrived at themselves. They're citing Iranian officials. There's been some questioning around the number. But at the end of the day, I have to add that killing even one protester is more is. Is, is too many. Now okay. it'd be a 200, 300, 500, 1,000. It's something that's completely condemned okay. um, from all these different organizations. We'll have to leave it there. Sorry, we're running out of time. Thanks Thank very you. much for coming in, Nagar. Nagar Mortazavi there for us.